Today, I'm going to be showing you guys this insane 6 foot 11 shot creating post score on NBA 2K24. When I tell you guys that this build is unstoppable offensively, I genuinely mean it. This thing can dominate in the post, dominate in pick and roll, shot create in the mid range area, three hunt as well. It is just an unstoppable build. And I need you guys to stick around for this video because I'm going to be showing you guys some absolutely insane 3v3 gameplay on this build in the park. And I promise you, you guys are not going to want to miss it. And I'm not gatekeeping nothing. Nothing. I'm giving y'all everything. I'm giving y'all the jump shot, the animations, the best badges to use. And speaking of badges, you can check all of the threshold unlock requirements for specific badges on NBA2KLabs.com for free. Although this site has many free features that you can use, I highly recommend that you get their premium subscription using code Joey to get 20% off at checkout. All right, so let me show you guys how to make this build. We're going to be making it at the small forward position, and I'll explain why I made it at small forward later on in this video. But we're going to be going with the height of six foot eleven weight. 216 pounds with a 6 foot 11 wingspan and starting off with the finishing we're going to get an 84 close shot which is going to get you hook specialist on gold we're also going to have a 91 driving layup which is going to get you slithery on gold float game on hall of fame scooper on hall of fame you're just going to have an insane amount of layup badges on hall of fame which also include pro touch i highly recommend that you start learning your layup timings because they are lethal now this build does not really have a super high driving dunk we ended up going with a 60 now with 55 you can get the the basic big man tomahawk dunk packages which are very good in this game and i'm not gonna lie to you guys the super high layup is going to make up for the deficiencies that you have when it comes to driving dunk if you want to make a change and add a higher driving dunk and get rid of some driving layup you absolutely can but now let's move on to the post control we're going to get an 85 post control on this build which is going to get you post fade phenom on hall of fame which is an absolutely insane badge and one thing i would also like to note as well is that the standing dunk is very low on this build also because i usually play with people that are on pure inside so it's going to be pretty difficult for me to get down into the paint and get some standing dunk animations to go off anyways so that's why i went with high layup and high close shot instead of going for driving dunk and standing dunk now moving on to the shooting we're going to get a 93 mid-range shot which is going to get you catch and shoot on hall of fame midi magician on hall of fame blinders and dead eye on gold you're just going to get a crazy amount of shooting badges on either gold or hall of fame you're going to be unstoppable in the mid-range area and you can hit some pretty insane shots from three as well speaking of that three-pointer you're going to get an 86 which is going to get you agent threes on silver as well as limitless range on bronze and trust me that that bronze limitless range is going to be more than enough to get some crazy deep shots now moving on to the playmaking you're going to go with a 77 pass accuracy which will get you break starter on silver as well as needle threader on bronze and you can also use passing styles like john morant or demontis a bonus and then we're going to go with a 70 ball control which is going to get you access to the pro dribble moves and those are actually some really great animations that we'll talk about later on in this video then speed with ball we're going to go with a 66 and again i highly recommend you guys keep on watching through this video because you're going to see that 70 ball control can actually get you some pretty saucy combos in NBA 2K24. All right, and now when it comes to the defense, we're going to go with an 82 to get you post move lockdown on silver, a 71 perimeter defense to get you challenger on bronze, a 60 steel, which is going to get you interceptor on bronze, a 78 block, which is going to get you bronze anchor as well as silver chase down artist as long as you upgrade your vertical to 74. Then lastly, a defensive rebound of 77, which will get you bronze rebound chaser and silver box out beast. Now, I need you guys to understand something. Defense is very, very good good in this year's game so as long as you have mid 70s across the board when it comes to your defensive ratings you're going to get plenty of stops and then lastly coming down to the physicals we're going to get a 75 speed 68 acceleration and 84 strength which is going to get you bulldozer on silver and movable enforcer on silver and it's just going to really help you out when it comes to scoring in the post and as well as playing really good defense and getting really good bump animations and now this build is complete and you're going to get the player comparisons of kiki vandeweg Cameron. Cameron Johnson and Jason Tatum and you're going to get the build name three level threat now let's get to this gameplay and again I'm going to be showing you guys the animations that I'm using on this build as well but let's get started with that man let's go and when I told you guys this build is unstoppable on offense I meant it there is nothing that can guard this build one on one you put a big on me I'm gonna cook you on the perimeter and I'm gonna hit some mid-range shot you put a smaller build on me with high prim d high steel I'm taking you in the post and I'm shooting over you and if you do end up putting a pure lock on me that's great i'm sitting in the corner making you stay over there and guard me while i give it off to my other guy who's gonna run pick and roll with a bad defender on him now i'm telling you guys this build offensively Ooh, look at the hot jump right oh he's leaning he's on the floor he's playing twister right now <laughs> 
but you know, offensively, this build is just absolutely insane right here. We're going to hit the Ticino spin jumper on the 611 too, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're going to have so much fun playing on this build. I've never had so much fun playing 2K when I was on this build. It was so freaking fun. And if you could get your timing down, the shots you can hit on this build are absolutely insane. There is no bad shot with this build. You can run pick and roll with this build. Look at this. Look at the floater. That's the Jokic floater package. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This build is so weird to me because it's 611, but it's basically like a small card almost when it comes to its offensive abilities because it doesn't have a high driving dunk. It's literally like a 611, like Trey Young build or like a Luka build. It's like a 611 Luka Doncic build. That's how crazy this build is on offense. I will say this is not a super, super easy play style to pick up if you haven't done this type of stuff yet because you have to learn a lot of different shot times. You have to learn all of the shot timings in the post. You have to learn all the shot timings for the fades, the spin shots, the step back. And then you still got to be able to learn your timings for your standstills but once you learn it all and put it all together you're going to be unstoppable on this type of build and there's not going to be any perfect defender that can actually box you up one-on-one -on -one. you know man like i said you can play defense on this build too though we're gonna get that block right there now again back on offense look at this right here we got take we're gonna hit him with the hezzy into the snatch back break his ankles hit him into the explosive behind the back now he's bumping me he got back up he's bumping me step it back hit a green 53 percent contest right in his face ace bro but now it's time for me to start giving you guys all the animations i was using for the jump shot we're using base kevin durant and our releases are going to be pure tim duncan this jump shot is absolutely insane super easy to time and having that really high timing stability thanks to the kevin durant base is going to make it super easy for you to hit wide open shots all right and now let's talk about our shot creating and post scoring moves that we're going to be using on this build we're going to be using layup style nikola Jokic. now let me tell you guys why we're using layup style Nikola Jokic is for two reasons his scoop layups are very good and his floaters are absolutely insane do not use Nikola Jokic layup style for his spin layups and his euro steps but I promise you the floaters and the scoops are going to be insane now when it comes to the dribble pull up we're going to be using normal this is why we made the build at small forward because for some reason when you're on a small forward build at 611 you get the normal dribble pull up as an available animation I'm not entirely sure if this is a glitch or if it's intentional or not it's been in 2k for quite a while so we're going to be using normal dribble pull up until we get access to Kevin Durant in a later season. And when it comes to the spin jumper, we're using Dirk Nowitzki. That's how we got some of those crazy spin jumpers that you saw earlier on in this video. And then the hop jumper, we're using Nikola Jokic. It's going to be the best hop jumper to use at this point in the game. Then moving on to the post animations, we're using post fade, pro two, post hook, Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is by far the best post hook. Then going back to post fade, if you want to use other post fades, Luka is a really good post fade and so is Kobe Bryant. And speaking of Kobe Bryant, we're using Kobe Bryant's post hop shot, which is my bread and butter in the post and now moving on to our playmaking moves we're going to be using normal dribble style a lot of pro signature size ups as you see all across the board the only other thing aside from pro that we're using is Luka Doncic's crossover and Giannis's step back now there's one move that I want to talk about in here very specifically which is the pro moving hesitation I want you guys to lab up that pro moving hesitation it is absolutely insane the amount of speed boosts that you can get off of that and like pretty much every single direction you can also use it as a quick stop you can use it as a way to just pretty much destroy your opponent offensively that's pretty much it for today's video man and i gave y'all everything i gave y'all the build the jumper the animation so i need you guys to go like up this video and if you like content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel as well it's gonna help me a lot since i'm on the road to 30k subscribers right now but that's it man i'm out peace